time will come. At this time, we'll call the Tuesday, December 14, 2021 meeting of the Jackson County Board of Supervisors to order. Larry McDevitt, Mike Steinis, and myself, Jack Willie, um, are your supervisors. Lisa Smith, <laughs> Bjorn Beck from the auditor's office, Luann Gokey from the supervisor's office, and as usual, our first appointment this morning is David Dreyer, Jackson County Engineer. Good morning, Good morning, David. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have two permits. To, to have approved this morning. First is a residential permit for Brittany and Alan McCormick in Fairfield Township, Section 6 on Iron Bridge Road. Recommended approval of that permit. The second permit for Ronald Castle in Otter Creek Township, Section 28, at a field entrance off of 226th Street. So moved. So do you want them separate since one's residential and one's a field? We can do that. Okay, I would move to approve the entrance permit for um, Brittany and Alan McCormick for residential driveway. I'll second. So a motion and a second to approve. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Make a motion to approve Ronald Tazel, Outer Creek Township. So second. With a motion and a second to approve Ronald Tazel's. Field permit. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Anything else? No, that's, that's all I have. Day laborers. Pardon me? Day labor bridges. They're finished. Three of them completed. Took a trip down to the Cabin Bridge. It's all cleaned up. Could not get it across. No, you <laughs> could not. <laughs> We're <laughs> The day after they took it out, an 18 wheeler pulled up to it. Um, oh, you're kidding. No. But, you know, <laughs> there is something there, though. So the sign, when you turn off of 45th, I think, is it? Says no outlet or dead end. But when you turn on the actual road where the bridge was on, it doesn't say that. We have added some additional signs. I don't okay. know when you were out there. We were going to make some changes because the, the resident was... After the last meeting, I went out and looked. But so yeah. it's way up by the first turn. It says no outlet or dead end or something. But when you turn on the actual road, by the, yeah. yeah, he was making some signs. Four seventy fifth bridge so out. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't say anything. So <laughs> he thought ask. maybe the road going straight ahead had no outlet, and he turned right, and he come into a bad situation. Yeah. Well, he was especially if you're an eighteen wheeler. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, to be honest with you, Jack, if you knew that road at all, you had no business on there anyway with a six. No, 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 I know the road. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what what is stop us a little bit? All right, thank you. Thank you, David. Okay. Lisa, do you want to do your it's gonna take me quite a bit, so um, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, this morning, I need a motion to approve the minutes of the December 7th, 2021 and December 10th, 2021 board proceedings as written by Auditor Smith and authorized publication in the official newspapers. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Actually, Sarah has arrived, so should we do Sarah? Sarah you were, you were, no, you were, I, you were kidding. You said it was going to take a long time. Yeah, you're going to take I'm just kidding. You're finished. I'm done. <laughs> as soon as you go, I'm done. <laughs> That's quick. <laughs> so uh, all of us are here. All right. All right. Motion here. Thank you. That's all that I have for the board today. Thank you. All right, Sarah, you got two minutes. This guy will be joined by Sarah Gavin. You guys trying to get done by 9 30 or what? Yes. Yeah. Quarter after. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we're moving along in the opioid settlement process, I guess. Um, I do apologize for not giving you a copy of the resolution earlier. I was able to get through it, and there's a significant number of changes needed to be made. Um, the draft resolution provided by ACE ISAC was actually done by the litigating county's attorney, and so. Um, I need to be changed significantly, in my opinion, due to the fact that we are not a litigating county. So I did make a changes so that it's clear that the law firm does not represent us. Um, and but then the other parts that do apply to us as a 
Sutherland County. Um, so as I took it, they hired an independent litigation team, no correct? So 66 of the Iowa counties signed on to law to the lawsuit and hired, I think there's three defense mm -hmm. attorneys or three, not defense attorneys, three attorney law firms that are involved. Um, they're listed actually on the first page. Kruger, Dickinson, Simon, Tamley, Conroy, and Von Reeson and Wilbur. Mm -hmm. Um so I bump it all the time. I guess I'll have to cut that out. <laughs> so basically, the gist of the resolution is that one, um, Jackson County has already agreed to the settlement. In fact, um, Lisa has signed both settlement agreements, one with the distributors and one with I think it's Johnson and Johnson. Um, the only other thing we have to do, unless they Tell us later we gotta do more. Um, is sign the opioid, the Iowa opioid allegation memorandum of understanding. And that is the document we are signing with the state um, and how the funds are gonna get distributed. And basically 50% is gonna go to a state fund and then 50 will be distributed amongst all counties that sign on. 15% um, of the county 50% is gonna go into a backstop fund. So the attorneys for the 66 counties have to get their funding from this national, um, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but there's a, as part of the settlement, a fund was created for the defense attorneys. Mm -hmm. But if they don't get at least 15% of the distribution to the 66 counties, then they can come back to the state for that. And so they've created this, they're gonna set aside this 15% from the top um, in the event that they get all of their fees covered by the national fund, then they won't need this. It'll get distributed to the counties. They want to make sure they get paid. Sure. Um, the, the other thing is, and then how much of it's left, but in this, in both of these, in the resolution and the memorandum, what I read in some of that is like, especially in number three of the first page. It said expenditures shall consist with the be consistent with the categories you mitigated in exhibit E. I never seen an exhibit E, but do we have expenditures? So exhibit E to the national master settlement is also exhibit one to the memorandum of understanding. So I the email that I sent with the resolution included all of those documents rather than printing them out because some of them are rather lengthy. And basically what exhibit one is is the list of things that we can use as funds for. That's what that's referring so to. So are we looking more like into law enforcement type things or court? Not issues? necessarily, um, actually. Um, it's pretty specific. Um, it is. Um, and will we have expenditures? I know we talked about this before now, we got it into has it. To be, it has to be. That's the other thing. It's all forward thinking. It's yeah. all forward. So anything that we want to use the funds for has to be come after. Back, come after back, it has to start it. after the settlement. <laughs> so we're not going backwards. Um, and there's 15 pages of things that can be used. Treatment. Um, uh, Melox, Narcan, I think you've heard that yeah. about that. That's yeah. rather expensive. You, it could be used to purchase that. Um, I know that, I, I don't know about all law enforcement. I'm pretty sure all of the deputies have one. I mm -hmm. think all law enforcement has some. It does expire, so it has to be replaced. <laughs> I, I don't know how often. Too. So, so it's, can... it's something that could be used for that, to keep that in. Okay, but we're already doing that. Doesn't it have to be something new or can it replace what we're doing? Okay. No, the whole point is to, so we can't go back, like we wouldn't be able to refund ourselves for the what's already in the squads, okay. for example. Mm -hmm. um, but we can certainly, as they're expiring, use that. Um, and it doesn't have to be specific to Jackson County. It could be for all law enforcement throughout the county. Um, and things at the hospital can be um, used to help pay for things there. Um, one thing that actually, I don't know, um, as you're aware, opioids is one of the, the drugs that we address in the JCPC DSC grant. 
And one of the things we talked about at our last meeting um, was that that uh, Julie is talking with um, uh, Osterhouse about seeing whether or not they could start up an MAT program, which would be the Suboxone, I think. Um, so basically using medication to help opioid addicted persons come down safely. Um, this money could also be used for that. Um, and so we might want to work with um, JCPC and maybe support some of what they're already doing. Um, so that's, I mean, there's, it, it's. So you certainly say we have the potential for use if we do. I think so. Yeah. I think so. And you'll be able to guide us as to Absolutely. That's what we need. Well, I think there's, you know, there's more than one player. That's the thing. You know, I mean, you look at the big picture, like you said, going forward, it's, you know, it, people, your brothers and sisters, you start taking pain medication for something. Then. Well, and I think the thing to keep in mind is while opioids, there is a crisis, it's definitely an issue. I think it needs to be addressed more on the treatment side than on the criminal side. Mm -hmm. um, we actually don't see that many charges for possession of opioids. That's not to say they're not being used. It's that um, that's not what people are being found with. However, we've had some overdoses from it. So it's certainly here. Um, but I think if you're going to address it, the preventative side, the helping to um, helping people who are already addicted to overcome it is a better use of funds than Oh, the jail and the prosecution side of things. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do we have a resolution number? We do not because... Do. Oh, you do have an It's number 848. 848-12-14-2021. Okay. As soon as you approve this, it's going to appear on resolution. Okay. okay. So make a motion to approve. I would second. And there's no negative to us, correct? Correct. And to be honest, if we were to decide that we didn't want to use the funds, we can always, um, the language is in there. I read it. So can, can we allocate to our neighbor or something you want to call yep. it? To give it to someone. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. All right. So I will go let um, Shelly know about that and then I'll get with you afterwards because this also authorizes you to sign that review. So we're not going to present the MOU. Um, they have a copy, and I guess we can talk about that if you want, but that's basically what the resolution was, okay. was authorizing you to sign it, and then they'll sign the resolution. All right. I, I would, can we do that do before what? you go? Do what? Can we approve the memorandum of understanding? Um, you or? can do it separately if you want to. It's included in the resolution. Oh, okay. If we don't need to, we won't otherwise I'd make that motion. Yeah. And authorize Lisa to sign, I guess, right? Yeah. It, now, therefore, be it resolved, number three, the execution of the allocation MOU by executing the acknowledgement and agreement to be bound. So, being Jackson and the first one, Lisa, the second one, we might as well pass that motion or what? Go for it. <laughs> I made the motion. Then we'll get seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we want to go back to your agenda that, since it was so long. <laughs> I, I know. I didn't want to hold you up today. You certainly didn't. Good morning, Luann. Do you want to come up? He's not. Do we have any here. citizens on here? It's Kelly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. morning. Yeah. Um, all I have for you today is the calendar. At 11 o'clock today, Isaac has an ARPA webinar by Zoom. And at 2 o'clock, uh, NACO has an ARPA webinar by Zoom, which any of you can attend if you want to. 4 o'clock this afternoon is a, a McCoke River Watershed Management Authority executive meeting by Zoom for Larry. And at seven o'clock tonight is the public hearing on the Jackson County redistricting. And that is here. In the basement in the community room. You can view them at seven o'clock. 
on Wednesday, December 15th at 10 a.m. is a LWDA leadership and Iowa workforce development town hall meeting by Zoom for Jack. Or if he chooses, he can attend the 5.30 session of the same thing. Um, however he wants to do that. Also, uh, starting at 11 o'clock tomorrow is our Jackson County Employee Holiday Celebration. It will be a progressive party up and down the hall and out to the outlying offices. Thursday, December 16th, from 1.30 to 3 o'clock is the Governor's Child Care Task Force webinar, um, available by Zoom to any of you that want to do that. 6 o'clock on Thursday night is Limestone Bluffs RC&D meeting, um, either in Animosa or by Zoom. I'm not sure that we have an in-person option yet, but that's for Jack. Friday, December 17th at 1 p.m., I tentatively have down a DCAT meeting, but she has not confirmed that for you, Mike. Saturday, December 18th is the auction of the former hospital. Monday, December 20th at 3 p.m. is a regional governing board in a meeting in Davenport for Jack. At five o'clock, Jack has the Mississippi Valley Workforce Executive Board meeting by Zoom. And at seven o'clock that night, I tend to have done it together we build meeting um, also for Jack. Our next regular meeting will be Tuesday, December 21st at 9 a.m. And that evening at six o'clock, is the conservation board meeting in Hurstville, at least for Larry. Do we know what time or place for that auction for the hospital? Is that available by Zoom also, I, I would think? I have no idea. I can reach out to Janet and see if she can tell me, but I haven't heard anything like that. I would do that. Okay. I would think if there are people from out of the state or out of the country then that they would be able to well, she have to be a bidder to be a part of the meeting. That's maybe the question, but I will ask her about it. Be nice to know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am. If they're <laughs> boards, it's got to be an open meeting. I'm not sure if it is a, a meeting or if it's all being handled kind of behind the scenes by that guy that they hired. Right. I thought there were bids on it. I mean, maybe they had to submit their bids. I don't know how they handled it. Hopefully nobody gets. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be back and forth auction thing. I thought people would put in their bid or whatever and see what happened. Well, they call it an auction. It doesn't yeah. mean that it could be a sealed bid. Well, maybe it's like we do for the county farm. Where yeah. Probably everybody puts theirs in and then we take off and bid. For you could just double check with their own seat. Yep, I will do that. That's all I have for you. Okay. All right. Is Marty coming in? I haven't seen Marty. I don't know. I see that his gray van is here. He's not due till 9.30, so yeah, I know. At this time, we'll recess um, until we are find out whether Marty is joining us or not. Okay. At this time, we'll reconvene the meeting, and we're being joined by Marty Hudlick, Jackson County Maintenance Supervisor. Morning. 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 Uh, let's see. We're going to start at the care facility. I do believe I have the drain field all done. We may, I got all the dirt we have there leveled out. We may need more dirt though because it's still low in a few spots. But I used all the dirt we had there in the pond. The septic tanks are pumped, the lids are fixed. Um, he didn't, he called, said he was coming, but he never called me and told me for sure what all he did, but I'm assuming that it's done, okay? Um, here's the courthouse. I, I don't know if it's due to the street or what, but I've been having terrible problems with the toilets. Um, I don't know if it's the water or what, but I think I do have them working. Um, the women's employees here. Uh, was the worst, and I, I think I, the last couple of weeks, I think I, I haven't had any complaints on them. They usually would flush and not shut off, or they wouldn't flush. So I got that fixed. Um, and in the process of taking the lawnmowers to the care facility and the snow equipment here, still haven't heard from the new lawnmower yet. Last I heard, it was on one of the container ships. 
set in the ocean. So it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. There's a lot of grass out there. <laughs> <laughs> See, a lot of ships, though. A lot of ships, though, from yeah. what I hear. Um, I cleaned the cooling tower off for the winter, get it ready for winter, shut the water off, do it. <clears throat> I'm trying to get triple C here. The roof is styrofoam, and then it's got like an eighth inch membrane of uh, silicone over top of it, and I'm it's not leaking and broke, but it's bubbled. So I'm trying to get him here to give us a price so I can get it put in the budget to repair because it does need to be repaired. But I am having a heck of a time getting that gentleman here. I've been at him for about a month now, I think, trying or maybe a little over a month to get him here. I just got a flyer from uh, Enos Miller. They do uh, Conklin roofing locally. I think they're out of southern Wisconsin or something. For do they roofs. huh? For flat roofs. Do they do the styro though? That I was what I want is it repaired. You know, because yeah, it's not... it's still in real good shape. It's just the the silicone separates from the styro, and then they'll just come and cut it out and redo it. So oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I think this roof was put on in. I think it was before both of us were here, about 85, I think, oh, 84. Wow, that's a long time for yeah. a flat Yeah, and it's it's still in decent shape. I, I don't go up there all the time, but I go up there a couple, three times a year, and I noticed when I was doing what? Lisa said she was here, and that's like been 50 years. Anyway, um, let's see where I went back. The, on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> so we got that taken care of. Hopefully I can get him here. Um, the the heat cap building, the parking lot extension is done. Um, Are you putting the sign back up for the museum? Well, we need to redo that sign because the post is just completely rotten off and so is the thing. Can I make one of them or not? Is that under my jurisdiction? No, actually that would be the historical society. Well, they need to put a new sign up because <laughs> it's 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 completely Bad. rotted away. Yeah. Okay, I will inform Bonnie. Of that. Okay, um, I just put there's a big pile of dirt there. I told the contractor when he was doing it that we wanted the dirt. Mm -hmm. I took the excess dirt to the new jail site, put it on the like 50 feet out on the east side of the new foundation. So hopefully it's out of the way when they build everything. I kept a little bit there. I put a little backfield around the building a little bit and finished around the parking lot. So hopefully next spring, it, when it's leveled out, it, it's nice. And there's a manhole there. I filled around that because we keep hitting that. Excuse me. Um, I guess I had a question. Okay. I've, I've driven by there several times and I, I have a hard time figuring out how the people are going to get into the area closest to the street, how are they going to get in and back out when we have that patch of grass there? And it just doesn't seem like it connects. You come around this way and go in. Okay. Yeah. But if there's seven, you know, five or six cars there, I just, I really tried to figure out how it was going to work. I don't know. If they're parking there, they get in and out. Okay. Yeah, but you know, they're not I'm, parking on the new part. Oh, yeah. They're not supposed to for a year. Oh, Used no, no, no. Just we can't put salt and sand on it for a year. Oh, they can park on it, but we, we're we not going to put salt and sa or sand. We could, but we're not putting oh. salt on it, okay? Because I called him. I and misunderstood said, when I talked about it before. Okay. But it just it looked like it would be difficult if you were the middle car to back up and get around the cars because there's not a lot of space. I don't know. They seem to, to do okay. it. I don't know. I'll have to go try it. Okay. <laughs> you so, and if I get stuck, start. I'll call you. Okay. Have, you put, have you painted any lines on it? No, because we might be able to do that tomorrow, but I don't, I think it's got to be such a, such a degree before you do that, don't you? But I will do it eventually. Okay. All right. And We've had problems with people driving. I keep thinking it's Grove Street, but I don't know what street it is. But they drive from the parking lot of the ball softball field on the north end of the fairgrounds 
through there. And Frank and his men, I contacted Frank, and Frank and his men went up and put posts in between the posts. And I, I haven't noticed tracks there since then. So I think we may have that taken care of. I have a recall on my red truck, the one I really like. Um, they say if you leave it idle too long, something cracks when it regenerates. I'm not a really an auto mechanic, but I just got that about a week ago and I will get a hold of uh, Brad Deary out here, take it there. Um, the jail, the wash machine was leaking and the part was like $400. And a new wash machine was 800 and some odd dollars. So I accidentally thought it was one unit. Yeah. So I said, go ahead and do it. Not realizing that this, because the other ones we have are one unit. This one separates. Well, they were $800 a piece. But the machine's 11 years old. And I still think it may have been a good decision, even if I didn't make it knowingly. <laughs> um, but they got a new washer dryer. When, if they move, they can take it with it if they need it or something. It was my bad. I, because the one I have in the, in the garage over there, <coughs> the one we have down at the senior citizen, they're a one unit thing. They don't separate. This one did. So we have actually another dryer functional operation. Right yes, there. yes. And I did keep them, keep them. So. Um, and other than the combo doorknob on Arlene's office, and I'm going to clean the carpet, have spec come in and clean the carpet, I think I'm done in there. I got her thermostat moved and everything. Tighten up the closure? Yes, yes. At the on the door, you mean? Yes, I think I got all that working good. Okay. Yeah. Um, did I see the email come through about some parking issues? Uh, Andrew sent Lisa and I a. If I speak wrong, yeah. Wanted to know if instead of parking over here, that they could park in the Penrose Annex. So I met Andrew in the hall last week and he had mentioned that to me and I basically told him I did not think that was an option at this time that that parking lot is for that building. Yes, and if they do park in there, it would make it so if we if they had visitors, the parking lot would be full. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And um, and he was going to talk to New Makoka Police Chief and see what the option was for them. Okay. To park in their lot there and be let's be good neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Um and I and I don't know why, but the, like maybe the we could talk to the sheriff and see if the they got that transport van. I as far as I can see, it doesn't get used much. Maybe park that up there. That would give us another that would make sense. spot. I, and I'll talk to Brent about it. I, yeah, mm -hmm. he's, That's where it always was when we got it. Yeah. 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 He's, he's pretty understanding. Yeah. You carry the weapon, don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about the entry door here? Are we just going to leave that open in case it's hot out? Or? Uh, I didn't know. It was, I just come up the hallway. That's the first I knew. What it was is uh, the inside door stand open. Well, Mike, they open that in the morning when they vacuum and hold it open, shut it off so it stays open to vacuum the carpet. And he just forgot to turn it back on right. today. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ever since the last guy come and fixed that door, he fixed it. He fixed it. <laughs> I, it's been working super since then. I shouldn't say that. I got a question on the space. At the care facility where that garage door was separate from the machine, machine shed that the county uses for storage and it was concreted and that was to be cleaned out. It is. Okay. Is there room in for some storage in there for 911 equipment? Well, I just put my lawnmowers in there because where are you putting your lawnmowers in that shed there. That's where I put them. In the next. No, I put it in there because the, the big one's full. You, I don't think you could get anything else in that 
Big one. Okay, cool. so Jared told me we could use that North Stall in the long building. Right. And pianos and organs, by the way, I think are going to be out there. How, how the about the, is the filing cabinets gone and all that? Didn't they yeah, the material door? inside the filing cabinets is gone, but the filing cabinets themselves are empty in there. So can you, you couldn't open the door, just carry it in? There's a walk-in door, is all it's in there, right? Right. <laughs> what kind of equipment are you talking? Is well, it I don't know. I mean, the dish is only three foot. But yeah. I think the problem is the rolls of wire, and they don't really want them to set outside. Okay. I mean, the box, they set the parameters in kilometers or something. So I figured out it was 30 by 40 by 20. So okay. I box. can take my lawnmower down underneath there and put that in there. You just want to remember that's not climate controlled. And I use about a gallon of rat poison a month in there. And the, and the wooden one you say, you mean? Yeah, no, no, no. In the cement pad with the little garage door. It's not mouse tight. It, okay. it, I feed, I, I buy that bucket about that big like that lasts about three months up there. So how much is one of these shipping containers? No matter what. A couple grand. But they're they still have them set over Wyoming too. What's that? They still have them over at Wyoming too. But I don't know. Um, at least every once in a while they have them out here at the auction house, but I, I haven't seen one out there. But you on Craigslist, you can. There are a couple grand, I do believe, make or more. Maybe if you have to deliver, maybe a little more. I know the guy in the butte rents them or sells them. Maybe just check in, even just rent one. Something that I mean, we don't want to get a roll of wire chewed down. You can that's actually use your lawnmowers in that other shed, though, too. Right? Down below, yeah. That's that's what I said. This was open and it's really nice in there, so I just kept to put it in there. But I can move Let's it down below. Talk to Frank about what out in the airport building if there's room for a couple boxes out there or something too. I, I you know. I'm it's thinking nice. you want it fits because mice like wire. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, you're gonna want something that's tight, otherwise you're gonna have problems. How much stuff is it? I mean, Not, we can't get an answer. Okay. I mean, there's a couple spools of wire. I don't know how big they are. They sent the dimensions on the box, like I said in. And how long do we have to store them? And I asked, asked, what's your name? What what that size was? It's yeah. about 40 by 40 by 20. So it's an apple box. I think, just my opinion, I agree with Larry. I think you ought to get a container and rent it or something because every time I go to get my combine out of the, out of the, out of the shed, the, the wires are eight, and then you got to patch wires because they like wire. I don't know why, but they do. And you'd hate to have a roll of wire. I don't know what it would be worth, but you'd hate to have a roll of wire and have it all laid out. And how long do you think we have well, to store? Yeah, how you know, it's one of them things that when can they get at it? Can they get, can they, but we found out that they did the study on the tower and it's structurally safe for this God willing that it's structurally safe for the dish. Um, so we just got to figure out basically what they get in here. <laughs> So where would we put a container if we got? I'm guessing there's a place six months for sure. Anywhere How about in the Penrose parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> the front lawn. Oh, yeah, uh, well, you could use a front branch. Yeah. Um, you can put it on the nine foot sidewalk out in front. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or on the corner. Well, it could go out the county fund somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You could put that anywhere. See what they are to rent, and maybe it's cheaper just to buy one. All so, right. I mean, so do you want do you want a twenty footer or forty footer? Okay, first of all, talk to Lynn and see what kind of he's going to get back with that guy. Right. I mean, we're not just going to buy one to have one. We've got enough storage most of like, you know, time is just, yeah. And maybe it's something you just could rent a regular storage unit too. I mean, the thing is, if that building is up, it'd be a perfect spot. You'll have it in there, work at the corner, yeah. and yeah. you're done. I mean, we in three months, we're going to have a lot of storage, I think. Yeah. You know. When is this coming? The building? Mm -hmm. The, the wire. I'm not sure of that either. Okay. What are you sure? I'm sure we're going to get it. Tuesday. Yeah, it 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 sometime. Yeah, last night. I don't know what happened. I had it for about a week. spell on me or something. My wife's got it right now. <clears throat> and it feels good. It's just in the motorcycle. Okay. I can do that. Anything else? When are we going to do something with the stuff we got from the hospital? We like out in the north, north yeah, yeah. Well, I've been talking to my right hand man, Mike, and I told him we need to stuff that down the 
basement somewhere. He's gone, was gone this week. He went back Thursday, and we were going to put it down the hallway, to, at least to get it out of the north well, lobby. We need to get the stuff out of the lounge and put the new stuff that we got from the hospital into the lounge. We can put the conference table downstairs where it belongs, and the other conference table can go in the other room where it belongs, and then we'd have a lot less to worry about. So. Yeah. So did we have to do that pallet carpet that they had? I never got any carpet. I didn't. I you know we talked about it. <coughs> I, 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 I knew nothing about that. Did we get that? The what? We got TVs on. I don't know if did you get all the cables that day? Mm -hmm. Drilling out? Yep. Don't know what's going Communication and access with the microphones and things like that. It's all yeah. there. Oh, from the conference room? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you took a lot of them shovels, made, made your room down there really nice. It looks wonderful down yes. there. We're not done yet. All up off the floor. Huh? Say, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We still have work to go, but we had yeah, well, done. We're not done. We had a little work to do first. And another thing <laughs> we could probably do, with, and Lisa could back me up on this, we have a room down in the basement that's full of stuff that some of it we need to keep, the auditor, but some of that stuff, nobody's ever going to use it, and I think we should load it up and Get rid of it, don't you? I call that the junk room. The yeah, junk room it is. needs to be cleaned out. But if we got rid of some of that, maybe we could put some of that communication well, that's stuff the, down there. That's kind of what I was thinking. Too. How much? Yeah. And that's really what I was thinking. We're just, storing stuff that we nobody will ever use. So those yeah. are only 40 inches, about like that. By that, by and how many of them is there? There's a couple, right? Like three, maybe. I'm it's sure we, you can put on a roller cart and take it down the elevator and put it in there. And then we don't have this to. This is what I'll, I'll get a hole in. And I'll have him make me a list and see if he can get me some dimensions, and then we'll find a place for it. I, I was thinking that, but I didn't want to mention that because it would take a little bit of work on our part, and I'm not sure we have time right now. But with that being said, if it's only a couple of boxes here and there, if I, you can direct us what you want, we'll do. Yeah, set them on one of those racks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and that's, they are nice. They are really nice. The other thing, Marty, and I don't. You can do what you want, but I, I would make yourself one of those rolling carts that we really liked that was at the hospital. Oh, that yeah. Yeah, I think that would be a, a wonderful winter project after you're done blading snow someday. Yeah, <laughs> a really nice cart that's down underneath the conference table. That is mine. Okay. Well, I wonder. I wonder. Well, I didn't see no name on it, and <laughs> possession is nine tenths of a lot. There you go. That's right. Thank you, Larry. The <laughs> county <laughs> appreciates. The the county appreciates it. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or I would suggest, even because the filing cabinets up at the Andrew Jackson Care Facility, we could probably move some of those filing cabinets around if we want them. And then I, depending on how many boxes, you know, if you want, I'm sure that's expensive wire. Um, if you want them out there, that's fine. I think we could probably make some movement in that room. It would be a little harder to My get My guess to. is that the rolls of wire are rather large and heavy. The yeah. box is not heavy, it's only 40 some pounds. But my guess is how you gonna get them in there. Okay. Unless we put an outside door in that building. Well, like I said, we'll we'll see what the size, if he can give me the size, because it, it can, I wouldn't think it'd be wider because them doors, I'm pretty sure, are three O's. I'm sure we could wheel it through there. Yeah, if not, we maybe could look at the potential two wheel car, we could get it. The shipping weight on it. That'll yeah. tell you yeah. what it, we got a chainsaw. They're 40 pounds. The boxes that he told us. The box of wire are only 40 Not pounds? The wire, the box of equipment. He okay. Send us right. oh, so are we talking schools of wire? I, I think so. Oh, well, that's different. Then. I'll, I'll get a hold of uh, yeah. and, and, and find He it. was trying to get some more information from the engineer. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you think we want to unless the total ship want a garage door in the thing there? Do you want me to get a price for that? When you're up there sometime, it wouldn't be a bad idea either. You know, that's something we, me and Mike could probably put in for. If we do that, it's not, then that's our space too. Yeah. So you're talking about underneath that building that you just redid? No. No. No, we're talking the brown shed where the big 30,000 gallon water tank. There's a room in there that's pretty fixed up nice, but it's just got two walk doors here and here. Oh, we're yeah, thinking about putting okay. a garage door on the east yeah. end of it. So we can get right into it. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. 
And they, they all work on the hospital stuff. Okay, we will. I've been trying to get figure out where to put that with Mike. I really have. Steal that. Not going to happen. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good week. Yep. Thank you. You too. <clears throat> it's five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Do we have any other business other than our work sessions on the budget? I think I make a motion to adjourn. I'm just looking. I don't think I have any other reports. I would second. Been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Oh.